What's up, everybody? Big Will, K-pop for life, coming back at you. You know how we do. Just got off work, and uh, I'm mildly excited for this Twice comeback. I'm mildly excited. It's been a while, right? Twice hasn't dropped a good song, in moi's opinion, in a while. Um, Dance the Night Away. No, what's the other one? What the hell was the one they just dropped? Ooh. Yes or yes, yes, yes or yes. Uh, it was good for the first few times I listened to it. Like, it was all right. And then I just got sick to shit of it real quick. Haven't went back to it pff, since, like, the first or second day I heard it. So, no staying power. Um, but if you don't know, Twice is still one of my upper echelon K-pop girl groups. Uh, it just fell off since Likey. I love Likey. I know for some reason every song that I like, everybody who's a Twice fan doesn't like it. But um, I believe we should hold K-pop groups accountable. Okay, we should hold them accountable. If you blindly like everything, one, you're a sheep, and two, that's telling them and the producers and the record labels, put out whatever garbage you want. Overproduce it, underproduce it. It can be complete shit or solid gold. And I'm still gonna inject it directly into my veins because I am a fanboy slash girl slash whatever the fuck you call yourself. And that's bad for the industry as a whole because it decreases the value of the overall product, in this case, K-pop. So we don't do that here at K-pop for Life. If you're new, we keep it 10 times 10. Hit the subscribe button. Also, a little bit of news. A little bit of news for, for my normal watchers. Guess who's going to K-Con? Guess who got invited to be on a panel at K-Con New York? Your boy. <laughs> so... Thank you for whoever voted, first off. And I think it's hilarious. I'm probably going to get jumped by everybody in the army. So, you know, I'm going to bring me some brass knuckles, damn it. <laughs> no, but for real. Uh, it should be fun. I don't even know who's going to be there yet. Um, I heard it was NC NCT and uh, TXT so far, and I could give a crap. So hopefully good people come. Hopefully good people come. But without further ado, let's jump into it. I hope this doesn't suck. What just happened? Wow, second gen is fucked. Now I haven't seen anything. I've only seen like teaser pictures, but. Already got those over expensive twice hand dance moves they do. Sana. Oh, I hope the chorus is good. Chio. The bias. So everything about this video is screaming girls' generation. And I'm cool with that. A little bit of tiara, like uh, uh, sugar free, but with like a twice twist. I can already tell. This is one of those songs I'm gonna have to listen to a few times. Cause it's not really grabbing me, but I don't hate it. This beat though. I just keep, as soon as it drops the beat for the chorus, I just, it, it sounds very similar to, oh, yes, oh, yes. Mm. 
毛毛。This is a tough one, guys. I'm curious what you guys thought. Tell me below. What are your thoughts on this? I thought it was going to be over. <laughs> it's still going. How much more is left? Oh, okay. I was right. Okay, good. Interesting. Interesting. I already can see uh, all the fangirls and fanboys losing their fucking collective minds. Um, it, it wasn't bad. This is a tough one. See, this is a lot of music. Most me, all music. All music is subjective, but there are certain things and sounds that appeal more to a mass audience. I think a combination of the video and the the overall style of the video had my mind expecting something, a different sound. And it just kind of sounded like a standard Twice song with them attempting to do a not cute concept so I would have liked to see them break out of that bubble entirely like I get they're doing baby steps to appeal to, appeal to their massive fan base me being one of them but I feel like they could have stepped it up a notch they could have they could have put some heavier beat in there they could have come at us with a different sound entirely because like I said when that chorus dropped it, it sounded almost identical to the Yes or Yes chorus. That, ooh, they were very similar. And I feel like this, is enough, this, is gonna be, this isn't bad. It's not bad. But I feel like when you get these really, these high-end upper echelon groups, you know, these, the groups that essentially represent the brand of the label that they're from, i.e. JYP Entertainment this time, I feel like, at least in my mind, I tend to judge them a little bit harsher because I expect them to get to the best of the best. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes they don't give these groups the best of the best because the marketing machine and the power of the fan base, because it's so massive, just sort of trumps it and allows them to sort of save money, <laughs> you know, in terms of production value of the song because... I just wasn't feeling that the the song that much. It was very like okay, like I, if I heard it, I wouldn't turn it off. But it didn't really grab me, and I hate to say this, but like I just I I'll probably listen to it a couple more times, but I don't know if it's gonna change my mind. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like what you see and you want to see more, click the subscribe button, hit the like button, and as always. I look forward to the butt hurt hate in the comments below and all the thumbs down I'm probably going to get. Keep on popping, K-poppers. And remember, it's not a trend. It's a lifestyle. Deuces.